welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Princess. I am a mom, a student, an entrepreneur, and a small business owner. <laughs> I'm the owner of 1216 Self Care Co., where I make handmade self care products such as candles, body butters, body oils, skincare, all of that jazz. And I'm just taking you guys on my journey. Just my journey. So let's see, today is March the 15th um, and I haven't uploaded a video in a very long time, a couple months maybe. I, I don't think I've uploaded, yeah, I don't think I've uploaded since January since I was working on my Valentine's Day collection. And it's not because I haven't wanted to, it's literally just because, I don't know, I just, I've been having a very hard time trying to figure out what direction I want my channel to go in. Um, if you've been around for a while, I'm sorry, y'all, the lighting is probably like crazy <laughs> going in and out. And I need to sit you guys down so I can like really talk to you. Let me see. I have you guys propped up on something crazy. Okay, so I, I have you guys kind of propped up on something crazy. <laughs> Just making do with what I have. So yeah, I'm in my um, my workroom, my studio, I guess you can say it's where I create um, my products for my business. And I was actually coming in here to work on a formula, um, a new formula. And I was like, you know what? Let me turn on my camera because I've been wanting to turn on my camera and start back recording for so long, like recording on a consistent basis. But I've had such a hard time. I've really been struggling with this um, over the past like couple of years, actually, just trying to figure out what direction I want my channel to go in. Like when I started my YouTube channel, I was much younger. Um, I was like in my early 20s. I am now 36 years old and a lot has changed in my life and a lot has changed for, you know, who as, as far as who I am as a person over this time. And the things that were important to me or that I focused on back then are not as important to me right now. That's not to say that I don't still enjoy makeup. I don't still enjoy doing my hair, but it's not something that is an ongoing component of my day-to-day -day life. Like there are days I don't wear makeup. Like I can go a week without doing makeup i can't even tell you the last time i've been like a full-on beat on my face it's been a minute and as far as my hair is concerned i love doing my hair i love having my hair done but the way grad school and mom life is set up child uh <laughs> i'm lucky if i ever if i find time to do my hair these days um and so the the content that i used to create back then not that it's still not of interest of mine not that it's still not important to me and I don't enjoy those things because I do it's just not front and center like it was 10 years ago I hope I'm making sense I literally feel like I'm ranting and I turned this camera on just kind of like <clears throat> in the spur of a moment like it wasn't planned and I'm actually like very sleepy so I hope I, I'm not <laughs> sounding like a crazy person but um but yeah, and uh, a lot, you know, there's also been a lot about me that I've wanted to share um, on my YouTube channel for a very long time that I've held back because, I don't know, I'm a perfectionist and um, I don't know, I'm a perfectionist. And my therapist, y'all, I've started therapy recently because I've really been going through it. Uh, my anxiety and um, stuff like that has really just been gripping me um these past few months and so um and i've had some very triggering things happen um to me um that brought back some trauma that i thought that i had healed from that i didn't and so um those uh events have caused me to seek therapy for myself just to make sure that i'm well um and that i'm taking care of myself and that i'm processing and dealing with the feelings that I need to feel with so that I can be a happy healthy whole person um but in my last session I was talking to my therapist about some things that I've been dealing with and she was like princess you are such a perfectionist and uh, perfection is the killer of all things beautiful um 
it's the killer of progress and um, perfectionism can keep you from like really walking in your potential and your and in your truth for out of a fear of not doing it right and i'm definitely one of those people that if i don't do it right or if it doesn't fit my standards i'm not gonna do it at all and i'm really just working on getting out of that frame of mind <clears throat> and just embracing myself in the moment and living in the moment giving myself some grace and realizing that everything doesn't have to be perfect you know everything everything doesn't have to be perfect um and so what does it have to do with me picking up the camera and recording these videos and these vlogs if it couldn't be perfect and if it couldn't come together the way i wanted to come together and if i didn't feel good with my own physical presentation on camera if if it didn't meet my standards, I wasn't going to do it. Y'all, I can't tell you how many times I picked up the camera and started to record and I, that 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 content never made it to YouTube because it wasn't perfect. It didn't fit the aesthetic I wanted, wanted it to have and, and it was good content. It just, for me, wasn't perfect. And so this year, I am working on getting out of that and I want that to be a part of my personal journey that I share here with you guys. And I definitely would like to have more conversations with you guys about those things because um, I know that I'm not the only person that is dealing with high levels of stress and anxiety and a history of trauma that comes back and tries to replant itself in your current situations and um, tries to make you feel as though you can't have the future that you want to have you know those are all the things that my past trauma have been doing to me lately um giving me imposter syndrome making me feel as though i'm not worthy making me feel as though my dreams and goals and aspirations will never come to pass because i'm too broken um to live the life that i feel like i deserve um and even though i feel like i deserve it i'm not worthy of it and um i know like i say i'm not i know i'm not the only person that feels this way or that struggles with these things and i really want to share my journey um my whole journey you know not just me being a mom not just me being a makeup enthusiast not just me doing hair and making products for my business but y'all all of this is me i am princess you know and all of this is who i am and so i mean i have lost a few subscribers and um, stuff like that and all of those things kind of get into my head to make me feel like I have to make content that I originally made and I'm just I just have to be okay with that I have to be okay with the fact that I may lose subscribers and my views may be low um, on some of these videos because it is what it is and I just I just have to be okay with that and so here I am <laughs> Uh, taking a leap and <laughs> trying to be okay with that and recording a video in a dirty workroom with imperfect lighting with bags under my eyes um, and not being worried about being perfect about it so here I am I am princess and this this is my life <laughs> and so uh, from here on out I mean this is a lot of the type of raw content that you guys are going to get. And again, I hope that's okay. I want you guys to get to know me better. Some of you guys have been followers on my channel, subscribers on my channel, homies for a very long time. I'm so grateful for you guys um, who have stuck with me through all the transitions of my channel. And I truly appreciate you guys. Um, but enough about that. Like we have forever to talk about these things, right? <laughs> Um, as a matter of fact, if you guys have anything specific that you guys would like to talk about, then let me know. Um, I'm literally an open book. I am a stronger person than I was when I started this channel and I am in a better place to be able to share a lot of my personal truths, a lot of my traumas, a lot of my experiences, um, successes and failures. I'm 
I'm in a better place, you know, especially now that I'm in therapy. That has definitely been helpful to me. But I don't want to take up this entire video just talking about this, y'all. Like I said, we have forever to talk about this stuff. So I want to show you guys some of the new stuff that I have recently launched in my store. Um, I'm trying to like really prepare to scale my business. Like I have so many things I'm trying to do. Um, at the end of this academic year, you got free. For those of you who've been around, you guys know that I work in education. And at the end of this academic year, this will be my last year working in education for ever, probably, <laughs> because I will be pursuing my license to become a, um, a marriage and family therapist. So I'm currently in a master's program to become <clears throat> A therapist and so next year would be my internship year and i won't be able to work so i'll be able to focus more turn on my light y'all i'll be able to focus more on my business okay and so so yeah so let me show you guys some of my new stuff and i need to restock my body products okay all right so right here these are my five ounce candles i have recently um launched my first the first three of my signature home fragrance scents um this one is pjs and cartoons this one is blooming which was actually inspired by a therapy session i'll tell y'all that story later <laughs> and then we have wusa okay so they come in these five ounce tins they are double wicked as you can see smells so good and then I have them in these um, 16 ounce jars that have a 12 ounce wax fill weight and they are also double wicked. So those are my candles. And then down here I have wax melts. Here is blooming. Here is PJs and cartoons. And then here is Woosa. So there's a wax melt snap bar to match every scent of my candles. And yeah, as you can see, my body butters, this one all belongs to someone I need to ship it. And then there, these are the body oils I have left. So I need to restock. And um, uh, like I said, I was getting ready to work on a formula. I'm trying to figure out if I want to make my body butter seasonal um, due to the heat. I don't want to necessarily change my formula. Um, but I don't want to have to deal with, um, the stress of worrying about a body butter getting to a customer that is melted in these hot summers. Okay. So I'm thinking about, um, switching to a body butter cream in the summer and spring months, spring, summer months, um, that is an emulsified body butter, um, that is more stable in various temperatures. And so that's what I'm about to work on and try to figure that formula out. Um, Avery is asleep. So is Terry. That's my husband and my daughter. For those of you who don't know, I am actually very exhausted. But the way my anxiety works, it's hard for me to rest. Like I really cannot sleep. Um, even when I am extremely physically tired, I actually have a doctor's appointment tomorrow where I'm going to talk to um, a doctor about, uh, sorry, y'all, the lighting is really bad. Well, I'm going to talk to my doctor about the some of my uh, symptoms that I'm experiencing from my anxiety and see that, um, to see whether or not I can benefit or if medication would be helpful um, with me managing some of those symptoms when I'm very, very anxious. Um, so yeah, I have a lot going on in my personal life um, at the moment. Um, and even when I'm not actively thinking about it subconsciously, it's on my mind and I just can't, I can't rest. And so I'm tired right now. Like I'm really, really sleepy, but I just can't. I laid in the bed for an hour and I couldn't go to sleep. So I was like, you know what? Might as well get up and be productive. So that's what I'm about to do. So I'm about to see, um, I'm about to work on this formula and let's see how it turns out. Enslaved by the thoughts in my head Then I hear a still voice telling me just finished writing my formula i write my formulas from scratch do it all by myself if you are a small business owner you formulate 
and you want help uh, learning how to write formulas or if you want me if that's something you want me to talk about then let me know I'll do it I know that there are lots of videos on YouTube that kind of go over it but you know I am a teacher by trade so if you want me to help you with that I don't mind but um, I wrote out my formula I typed it up and printed it out and so now I'm about to make a very very small batch because y'all I hate wasting raw ingredients because they are expensive I'm about to make a small test batch to see if I like the texture and we're going to time lapse that so that you guys can see what goes into it hey y'all quick disclaimer I'm not using gloves because I'm making this for personal use okay all right back to the music back up to the front I stand I am walking into God's land the lighting in my little room is horrible so i'm just gonna apologize for that again but um so here is the emulsifier body butter it's thick it's still cooling so i mean it's probably going to get a little bit thicker i haven't tried out the formula yet but yeah so let me just try it out put a little of what's left on the spatula so the first one I made, I didn't like it because I felt like it was too waxy. So here it is. Hmm. I don't know. It could just be too that I'm so used to my body butter formula that my body butter formula is so nice. It just like really glides on. It's very like slippery and glidey, but it's not um, greasy. So it could be, so uh, it smells like chocolate, but it feels really good. And like, it look, it gave me a nice little shine on my arm. Y'all see that? I don't know it's nice and thick too like i feel like I, I would be able to pipe this formula let me try again i'm just trying to see how i feel about it mm. i don't know it's rich we'll see we'll continue to play around with it and uh see what i think about it so i have that here gonna put the lid on well actually i'm gonna leave the lid off of it because i want it to continue to cool down um that's a little tip if you make an emulsion like a lotion or cream um that goes through a heated phase before you put the top on it make sure that it's cooled all the way down so that it doesn't build up condensation and accumulate water in your product which can cause bacteria growth so don't do that okay but y'all, it feels like really nice on my skin. My skin feels like really soft. I don't know. We might, we might have a winner. But um, the real test is going to come after I take a shower tonight and I try it on. Um, I may restock body butters tonight, but I'm not sure. But I have some packages that I want to open and I want to show you guys. So let's go in my living room where my business is taking over the living room. <laughs> All right, so, so here are packages. All right, so this stuff over here, this actually needs to go in the garage. I have packing peanuts that I'm saving, and this is the box from those candles that I made. 
Then over here, I believe I already opened these to check. Yeah, these are my eight ounce jars that I'm gonna be using for my candle collection also. Um, I'm just finishing up my testing on these and I will release these once my five ounce candles are sold out. And then, what is this? Ah, okay. These are my four ounce jars. They look exactly like my six ounce jars. Um, I'm switching to four ounce jars for my body butters. Um, I'm keeping my price the same. Um, if I were to keep my body butters in the six ounce jars and I was gonna have to raise my price by about $5, making my body my six ounce body butters $22. Um, I use Elipe butter and Muru Muru butter in my formula, which is an exotic butter. It's the majority of my recipe is expensive. And with the war and the and you know the the rate of inflation that's going on, my products are getting much more expensive. And so, in order to keep prices the same, um, I decided to make my jars smaller. So I made that announcement to all of my customers and everything. All right, I'm missing a bottle. Like what? Okay, so these are my body oil, my new body oil bottles, and I'm trying to figure out why I'm missing a bottle. Let me see. Four, one, two, three, four, five, five, 10, 15, 20, okay, 25, 24. Okay, it's supposed to be 24. But this is my new body oil bottles. They're still glass, like I've always used, but I'm switching out my pumps to these pumps. So I'll be using these for my body oils and also for my face cleansers that I have coming out soon. I already know what these are. These are pipettes. Oh my God, y'all. This, this is an ingredient for, this is an ingredient for my um, body sprays right here. Okay. Okay, awkward position, I think y'all, okay. So let's open this box right here. Try not to show y'all my address by accident. So, Okay, so I'm trying to um, switch up my business, the way I package my my orders and um, be more eco-friendly. So I got this off of Amazon just to test it out to see how I like it compared to bubble wrap. And this is my the honeycomb packaging. So you stretch it, it's like an alternative to bubble wrap. So I got some of this to try out, especially for my candles. Okay, this is what I'm really excited about. So, if you are a small business owner and you do your own product pictures, you have to have heard of replica spaces. So, I don't have replica spaces money. <laughs> so, I went on Amazon to see if I could find a dupe of the product. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm trying to not talk over this. So pretty. Oh my God. Okay. So I'm excited. Oh my God. Y'all, it looks so much better than I was expecting it to look. Oh my God. Okay. So this is a dupe from Replica Surfaces. I will put the link to it in the description box of this video, just in case you're interested in getting it for yourself, for your small business, or, you know, for whatever, whatever needs you may have. But it comes with this little pouch, so I'm opening this. Okay. So these are the little stands that you use to conjoin the two pieces. Oh my God, y'all. Okay. 
Isn't it pretty? Oh my God. Okay, so for this one, it's gray marble. And then the back is white. And y'all, it's really, really like sturdy. It's a really sturdy material. I'm so impressed right now. Oh my God, okay. Things that make business owners excited. Guys, this is beautiful. It's like concrete. Look, oh my God, it's so pretty. And so in my head, of course, can do them like this. And if you need a white background, uh, you know, a, a white surface and a white background, then you can, you know, reverse them and use them the other way. But oh my God. That looks so good. I cannot wait to do product um, shots on those. So that's exciting. Hopefully these work good. Um, I did read some reviews where people were not too excited about these, but I've already looked up some replacements for these just in case. I mean, I can't be mad um, about it because I got these at a good price. I think replica services start off at like $74 and this was only, I want to say like, $46 and some change so I'm not mad at it at all if I have to buy some of these replacements off of Amazon I've already found some for like six dollars if these don't work so I ain't mad I have one more box This box. This box. This box. And I have these bottles. So I got 48 of these, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. It's 48. Got 48 of these crystal clear spray bottles fine misting bottles and this is what I'm going to use for my body mist. So I released body mist um, for the very first time in my Valentine's Day collections just to introduce them to customers and I got really good feedback on them. So we're going to go ahead and roll them out. So I have um, all of my ingredients for it and all I have to do is begin to whip up the product. So yeah. All right y'all that is it. Um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and bring the vlog to an end give Avery her bath and finish up my paper. I've been working on a research paper for a couple days now and I need to do some revision and editing and it'll be ready to turn in. So I'm going to do that and then I need to clean up that mix. All that stuff that I just unpacked, I need to put that stuff away, clear out my living room and then I'm going to try my best to relax for the rest of the night. I said try try okay <laughs> so yeah um thank you guys so much for hanging out with me if you would like to support my small business i will have a link to it in the description box below as well as a coupon code of course and until the next video you guys remember you're perfectly imperfect love all of you because god does and so do i i'll see you guys in my next video until then y'all be very blessed Adixies.